What is up guys, it is Money Shark Gaming here, so yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a little pack opening today, I'm gonna be releasing my rewards pack opening later today, but uh, I didn't really play much of um, Rivals, like I'll show you guys in a bit, um, I didn't really play much Rivals this week, I was just caught up with the holidays, so I figured why not give you guys two pack openings one day, so this is the morning pack opening, uh, which is with NHL points, and later on today will be my squad battles and uh, Rivals rewards mixed together. So, to give you guys a little storage set update, I always keep my MSPs. Uh, some of them for collector's items purposes, other for team of the season purposes, like Pasternak, that would be like team of the season purpose. Uh, if I don't get my hands on his team of the year, if he does get a team of the year, um, rest is just team of the year fodder at this point. You know, hopefully this guy, Swedish guy gets an upgrade and um, yeah, just a ton of uh, team of the year fodder, like I said. So, uh, we got two fantasy Latangs now. You know, he really popped off with six assists last night. I think, it, you know, the, the goals are going to start to go in for him, and I think that'll be a really good investment. So, um, counting on that, you know. So, yeah, I mean, that's the storage set update. Give you guys a little team update, but I'll show you guys what we're working with with the rewards packs for later today. We only finished, I think, platinum or diamond, like, Obviously, I don't have my squad battle rewards yet because it's not 5 p.m., but two mega players packs, two elites, so I'm pretty sure that's, like, diamond. We can go check that real quick, but... Is that diamond, or is it... Yeah, that's, uh... That's platinum, so, yeah, we definitely, uh... Didn't, uh finish that well this week <clears throat> so I'll give you guys a little team update I don't expect anything to change after this pack opening it's more just for kind of coins and power ups and just just for fun you know figured why not um, same first line Gretzky with X Factor McDavid uh, team builder Medano Shanahan with a power up icon Eisenman it's like the Detroit alumni line we got uh the now of Sweden with the past of Sweden, the Sedin twins with MSP Nylander, uh, Captain Stamkos with uh, Pedersen and Fantasy Hurdle, and goaltenders. We made a big change in the goaltenders. I decided to buy X Factor Sorokin. You know, I could technically pull X Factor Sorokin in my next X Factor pre roll. Uh, re -roll. I don't know why I always say pre roll, it's re roll. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, X Factor Sorokin. I decided to just buy him on the market. He was uh, 120k, and I had some extra 87s and 86s in my collection, so I just sent them as a trade offer. He accepted. And Captain Luongo, I'm kind of just rotating them right now. Sorokin does seem like the more consistent goalie. This is the goalie I definitely want to have all year. Uh, for the X Factor rerolls, I don't really want any other X Factors. I mean, if I pull a Jack Hughes or a Quinn Hughes, I'll probably keep it, but um, not really too hot about any X factors, so I figured why not just get out of the way and I can just use the rest of my fodder, like gold card fodder for the rest of the year on power up icons to get Lemieux or team of the year fodder or team of the season fodder. I can just use my fodder for other stuff now other than X factors. I got the X factors I want, right? Like McDavid. Oh yeah, speaking of the defense, Sorokin, we got McDavid, Sorokin, we have Makar uh, with Fantasy Dowdy. I really like this pairing. Uh, Seth Jones, um, with Lidstrom, got Rasmus Anderson and Chikrin, so, I mean, I'm pretty happy with everything, um, just got six synergies, so, pretty happy about that, so yeah, I mean, still got some stuff on the market waiting to sell as well, sorry if it seems like I'm a bit drowsy, I slept in today, I just woke up, we're gonna get this video done, then go to the gym, and then come back, and I don't know, whatever happens there in between then, 5 o'clock, whatever, and then 5 o'clock I'll do my next video with the rewards packs. So trying to sell this Pedersen, trying to sell a couple of these power-up icons and team builder fodder, so, yeah, I mean, that's that. I hope you all enjoyed your holidays, and uh, we'll dive into this pack opening. Hopefully Santa's good to me today, you know. But I'm not going to spend all these points. Like, you see 13,000 points. I'm not going to spend all of them. Um, 
it just doesn't make any sense to spend them all right now. I want to save some of these points for Team of the Year. I'll probably end up spending about 8,000 of them. So, power-up collectible pack. That's a no-brainer. I mean, we'll start with that. Um, this one, you get a power-up plus a guaranteed X-Factor. So, we could do an X-Factor reroll um, as well for another video, but... Do I really give a shit? I mean, what are the odds? I mean, it's, yeah. Ultimate choice pack, that's, that's always a good one. So I think we'll do one of each of these. Um, trying to see if there's any other good packs. I mean, I mean, greater chance pack. I mean, that could be worth it, but just the odds, just not worth it, right? This is a ripoff. That is the biggest ripoff I've ever seen. Holy shit. Both of these. I mean, I would do the Nakash challenge. It's just, uh, just doesn't seem worth my time. Maybe I'll do it later just for extra Team of the Year fodder, but I mean, I'd rather have Stamkos 88, though he's an 88 compared to an 89. I'm pretty sure he's a better player than Nakash. But if you have Nakash, let me know how he plays, but um, yeah, this one seems like a bit of a ripoff. Yeah. Yeah, I think th these two packs are our best bet. So, we'll start with the ultimate choice. I mean, the ultimate choice is usually good to me. Burnsy. So, an 83, our first one. That's not bad. Purple, our first one. We got Alish Hemsky. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think we know who we're taking. Um, wow. Wow. Purple, the first one. Like I said, these ultimate choice packs are usually very good to me. So, um, and McKinnon, I mean, not bad. I mean, an 85, an 88, an 83. I mean, stocking up on that team of the year fodder for sure. Okay, this guy will probably go for a bit. Not bad, honestly. Yeah, this round. After a couple good rounds, it's kind of bound for a shit pull, but it's what it is. Final round, I think, yeah. Hughes, he goes for something because of his X-Factor card. So, yeah, not bad. I mean, we got a few 84s, 85. I mean, I'm pretty fucking happy with that pack, honestly. Like, definitely got my money's worth there. I mean, they're all going to the trade pile. I mean... And the 82s I'll keep for fodder. Just like power up fodder. Um, but the rest of these guys will go to the trade pile for sure. Yeah, I got no use for these guys. Okay, so. Guaranteed 185 players pack. And you get a 50% chance at, uh... Yeah, the ultimate choice pack is definitely the better pack, but for, for, your, for your dollar, I mean, definitely this one seems like the better one. No lie. No cap. Purple, Makar. Okay, so that's our 85 plus. Okay. I'm tempted to open up one more of these, but we'll see. I don't want to. I definitely don't want to waste the entire. Well, it's not a waste, but I definitely don't want to spend the entire um, thirteen thousand points. Like I said, um, this one at least you're guaranteed a power up, so. And you're only guaranteed one, so I think what I will do is one more of each. Might as well. I mean, just for the shits and giggles, and maybe I'll add a little X Factor re roll there.
Carlson, that's our 85. Okay. So yeah, that pack definitely a bit deceiving. Um, I definitely thought the ultimate choice pack was better value, but um, hey, I mean, we'll give this untradeable one a go, and that'll be the pack opening. Yeah, I decided to just buy the thirteen thousand points. I mean, last time I fucking just went as I w I went as I go, and I ended up spending the same amount on eleven thousand as I would have with the thirteen thousand. So I was like, fuck it. You know, if I spend it all, great. If not, then I have some extra points for team of the year that I'm gonna be buying packs for anyways. And this is our X Factor. Let's see what it is. Nick Suzuki. So yeah, I guess you guys get a little X Factor reroll um, as well. like the worst X Factor you could fucking pull. Oh my gosh. It's all untradeable, so... Yeah. I mean, we'll do the X Factor reroll right now. Might as well. I mean... I don't know what's worse, pulling Nick Suzuki or pulling one of the women's um, X Factors. They're both pretty fucking awful, if you ask me. Okay, so... I'll go to sets. X Factor reroll. Like I said, I don't even know why I have these gold cards here. I mean, I think I'm just done with the X Factors at this point. I mean, like I said, I got all the ones I wanted and just zero point. Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, maybe. Those are the only ones that I'm, even then, I'm not like ecstatic about it. I'm just kind of like, okay, that would be nice. Okay, we got Quinn Hughes again. So that makes me feel a little bit better about, um, trading away his uh, card, but yeah, I mean, we'll take Quinn Hughes, I mean, I mean, why not, Quinn Hughes, welcome back to the team, buddy. So I'll just sort all this out, and I'll give you guys one final little team update, I guess. All right, guys, I am back. So basically, give you guys a little storage set update. Same thing as last time. I put Vasilevsky and the 85s I pulled into a power-up set, and I decided to buy another power-up pack uh, to get Quinn Hughes up. You'll see in a second. Uh, Chikrin's back in the storage set. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fodder we have for team of the year so far. You know, like I said, 89, uh, 88. 387s, an 86 that could go up, an 83 that can go up. Um, I think Canada wins bronze. I think USA wins gold. So assuming that, we have an extra 87 and an 86. Um, assuming USA wins gold, another 85. So pretty happy with that. Three fantasy cards in the storage. Like I said, Latang seems to be heating up. So I think that'll be a good investment. Just needs to put the puck in the net, right? Like he's finally seems to be finding his rhythm bit of a slow start for him but six points last night no goals sadly but I'll give you guys a little team update so my goal is to uh, buy Gory Howe some point this week you know I just want to get um, these final captains objectives done you know so I have some extra team of the year fodder um, but yeah forward group still the same um, like Gretzky with McDavid and X Factor Panarin so my goal is to bump Panarin down to the fourth and then you know, have Gordy Howe with uh, Gretzky and McDavid. Red Wings alumni line, Sweden line. Uh, we got, you know, Pedersen with uh, Stamkos and Hurdle. Fourth line, uh, first pair, still Dowdy and Makar. We got uh, Hughes, uh, X Factor, so he'll be back in the lineup now. Uh, costed a lot to juice him up, but kind of glad I got Hughes back. I sold Hughes and bought Hurdle a while back. When I pulled the X Factor Makar and 
seems to have paid off. I had a feeling I was going to pull Hughes again, and I, that's exactly what happened. So, pretty happy with the defense core. Um, goaltending, obviously, really happy about that. So, yeah, I mean, that's the team update. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.